We're continuing to follow the developments in State Attorney Andrew Warren's suspension from office. Reaction on both sides, swift and strong. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell has been staying on top of this story and takes it in depth tonight. She's finding out Warren's next move about this transition in office and the reasons behind his removal. More than 24 hours since Governor DeSantis made his announcement, there have been questions about what's next for state attorney Andrew Warren. I heard directly from Warren on what he plans to do. Warren telling me he's going to fight this. In a shocking move Thursday, Governor Ron DeSantis suspended state attorney Andrew Warren. Uh, the prosecutor, state attorney for this judicial circuit, uh, Andrew Warren, has put himself publicly above the law. An executive order signed by the governor lays out their case, going on to state, quote, Warren's declared refusal to prosecute abortion cases is alone sufficient to justify his suspension and removal for neglect of duty and incompetence. And that, quote, Warren's avowed refusal to enforce certain criminal laws on a non-individualized, category-wide basis of his choosing is a neglect of duty in violation of his oath. I've requested from the governor's office data used to justify the suspension and specific cases, and I'm waiting to hear back. But be clear, I'm going to fight this. During a call Friday morning, Andrew Warren addressed his suspension. He said he doesn't know how long the suspension will or could last. I asked him what's next and how he plans to move forward. I want to continue serving the people as I was elected to do. Unfortunately, yesterday, an armed deputy escorted me out of my office with no warning. Uh, not even a chance to read the order. Uh, this was something that wasn't planned. My concern over the past 24 hours has been making sure that the office continues doing the work that we've been doing for the past five and a half years to keep our community safe. Warren said in the coming days, they'll be exploring their legal options to challenge this. He's not just trying to suspend an elected official, he's trying to overthrow democracy in Hillsborough County. In the interim, the governor appointed Susan Lopez as acting state attorney. She's very familiar with how it operates. Hopefully the transition is seamless. Janae Thomas is an attorney who's previously worked with both Warren and Lopez. I asked her about the transition and what the people of Hillsborough County should know. The state attorney's office has been functioning for a long time, and I've worked beside many of those individuals, including Ms. Lopez, and I think that they should be confident that the work that is supposed to be getting done in the state attorney's office is still going to happen. The state attorney's office tells me at this time, while state attorney Lopez is acclimating to her new role, she will be available to the media in the coming days. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.